Dave and I got together when we were 19 and both working in a local supermarket. Um, we had been together for four years when he was diagnosed with a benign tumour in his neck um, after he'd noticed when he was shaving one morning that his Adam's apple was way off centre. So he had surgery to remove the tumour um, and it was only upon the tumour being sent to pathology afterwards that he was re-diagnosed and we found out that he actually had chondrosarcoma, which is an incredibly rare bone cancer. So it was decided that he would have proton beam therapy which he tolerated really well and we were feeling really optimistic about. But unfortunately, when we had his scan results back after treatment, we found out that it had been unsuccessful and his tumour was still growing. Um, a few months later, he developed a second tumour on his spine and from this point, things just went from bad to worse. He had two emergency spinal operations and a round of radiotherapy, but ultimately, any treatment was only going to be palliative and we knew that we would lose the battle with his mobility due to the tumour on his spine compressing his spinal cord he ended up becoming paralysed from the chest down and I became his primary carer but over the last year of his life um, his quality of life just got poorer and poorer um, and he died in March 2019 aged 26 Dave and I heard about Willow through um, a friend that we made while Dave was having treatment. So our friend Dean was also being treated for sarcoma, he had Ewing sarcoma um, and he told us about Willow and um, told us that he'd been granted an expenses paid trip to London to see Les Mis um, and he recommended that we should definitely apply for a special day. Um, sadly Dean died in September 2017 but I'm really glad that both he and Dave got to have their special days. Dave was really pleased when he found out that he'd been granted a special day um, and what it was going to be um, and obviously in turn for me it was just nice to see him actually be able to be a bit happy about something you know it was a really difficult time for him um, and it was just nice to feel like we had that to look forward to together. Um, unfortunately um, when Dave's special day was actually coming around Dave ended up having one of his emergency spinal ops and wasn't actually able to go. Um, however, Willow were amazing in terms of rearranging it and making sure that he would still get that day that he deserved. Um, and they even arranged a video message from Dylan Hartley for Dave to say how sorry he was that he hadn't been able to make it. So that was really touching too. Dave was a massive rugby fan and um, he'd always followed the sport and as a teenager he'd played for Brighton Seconds so his special day was for us to go to Penny Hill Park where we watched the England rugby team train we then met them all afterwards and then the next day we went to Twickenham to watch their game um, it was great for Dave um, you know being such a big fan and then being able to get that close to the people that you have sort of followed throughout their careers um, it must have been amazing for him I mean those who know me I'm not into sport at all I, I really don't do sports and to be honest I completely have no idea what is going on during a rugby game but I just didn't even care I was just so happy to just be there with him and um, seeing the smile on his face making those memories because you know sadly at that point we did know that Dave's cancer was terminal and um, so just knowing that we were there having that day together and that it would be a memory that I'd always be able to carry with me was really special. I miss Dave every single second of every day and life without him is really hard and it hurts a lot. But I think what Willow do is not only do they create a special day that is obviously so deserved for the patient, but they help to create those memories which their loved one can take forward with them for the rest of their life. And, and that is something that I will do. When I look back at those pictures, yeah, of course I miss Dave and I'm sad that he's not here with me. But predominantly I smile because I'm just so grateful that that was something that he got to do and that that was something that we got to do together. <laughs>